Hello everyone, my name is Melissa and I'm here at Grand Canyon University in the College of Arts and Sciences brand new DNA analysis lab. And I'm here today to give you a quick short lesson on blood stain pattern analysis. So if you come to GCU and you major in forensic science, these experiments are some that you will actually be able to do while you are pursuing your degree. So I'm going to give you a couple quick demonstrations and then I'm going to explain what we're looking at. So let's get started. Here I'm going to be simulating medium velocity blood spatter. And so what I'm going to do is place a small amount of this blood simulant on the end of this board. So now that I have my blood on there, I'm going to take my second piece of wood, I'm going to line it up at the bottom and I'm going to let it free fall onto the, the bottom board. And this is going to simulate someone who is getting beaten with a blunt object, such as a piece of wood or a baseball bat. In the center, where most of the impact, most of the blood was, we see kind of a general smear, but then out along the outside, the blood droplets get a lot smaller. So for this last experiment, we are going to simulate arterial spray. And arterial spray occurs when someone is cut in an artery, such as the carotid artery. So each time the heart pumps, blood is going to end up spraying out of that area. And so to simulate that, we are going to use a giant syringe that has some of our blood simulant inside of it. So as you can see, that is very messy. And like I said earlier, this happens with every heartbeat. So with every single heartbeat, there's going to be one new arterial spray pattern. So we can see the location where the blood hit initially, and then as the blood runs down due to the large amount of volume. We can also see the really large kind of spiraling spray pattern that comes out from all around the main area where the blood hit. This is just a few of the different types of blood spatter that can be found at crime scenes. And in the forensic science program here at GCU, you will learn about all of this and more. So for more information, visit our website at gcu.edu. Thanks for watching and see you next time.